This is Triple J. You're on Bars of Steel. My name is Latifa T. And joining us in the booth today is the new queen in the Australian rap scene. She goes by the name Tokyo Vendetta and she's got some vicious bars up her sleeve ready to deliver. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Baddest in the city, the queen bee, baby A new kid is on the block, so if you don't know, now you know, nigga Look, I'm a runner, I'm a track star Running circles round you niggas like a NASCAR They hate to speak the truth, but they know the facts So the when I leave this urban, I'ma die the greatest rap star <laughs> Laughing to the bank, my money piled up Tell them bum bitches if they rhymes up They wanna be the queen of rap, I told them line up I thought I warned you bitches weeks ago, then now your time's up <laughs> It was nice to know ya Stepped in the game, now her career is over They said them too lucky, nickname was Clover Opportunity keep on knocking like his name Jehovah Oh, got labels calling, said I'm most in demand Now niggas mad, so they calling me an industry plan Bitch, you think that my success is all because of a man? Like you think me taking over wasn't part of my plan? Oh, it's getting worse with the pressure that I now apply The way I'm killing all these rap bitches like a genocide Baddest little board and yet I certified Go against the queen, it's all right, cause bitch, that's suicide you know my bars are too vicious, so how I'm only queen of rap when I rap better than niggas? Only bitch to sell arenas when I'm doing a show. I don't call that every nigga in this industry ho. Oh, it ain't safe, y'all forgot I'm on a mission. I beat these bitches' faces like morticians. I never been the one, so please be careful who you dissing. I got niggas that can make you disappear like magicians. <laughs> Cute bitch, but I stay by the action. He trying to beat it like his dancing with Jackson. I'm robbing niggas like Baskin. Switch it up, cause all these rookies is jacking. They know I'm lethal with the shit, so they complain by my accent. No, you niggas are sick of me. All this hate and hostility till I leave the game willingly. Bitches ain't getting rid of me, no. These bitches ain't getting rid of me, no. You niggas ain't getting rid of me, no. Coming through with the vicious bars on bars of steel. That was crazy. How are you feeling? I feel good. You should feel good. <laughs> you sound good. Thank and you. I was saying it before, I love that you just spit the most vicious bars and the, like the craziest lyrics and then giggle in between. Like it's just, it's easy for you. You make it look so easy. Thank you. Who produced that beat? That was David Ford. Okay. Have yeah. you worked with him before? No, no. He's from America, but um, he makes really, really good beats. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Much made in heaven <laughs> with those bars too. Now tell me, you burst onto the scene with a freestyle video that got 200,000 views in 24 hours. Crazy. How did did you get into music? You're such an enigma. How did it all start for you? I started when I was eight years old, so I've been doing wow. this for almost like 14 years. But this year, I decided to start taking my music seriously because it's like always been something like I feel like I've been good at, but like I kind of brush it off. But it's always been the end goal. But this year, I decided to take it seriously. And you can tell, like I said, it's just effortless when you get behind the microphone. That's 14 years of work there. Thank no you. industry plan. That's hard work and hustle. <laughs> now, you have such a unique sense. I don't think anyone else in the Australian rap scene right now sounds like you. Who are some of your influences that inspire the sound? Well, the female that inspired all this was definitely has to be Lil' Kim, mm -hmm. forever the greatest of all time. Um, 50 Cent is another one that inspired me. Biggie Smalls, of course, yeah. Foxy Brown, etc. A lot of that East Coast influence there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can definitely hear the Lil' Kim too. And my final question for you is what's next? You know, you got two killer singles out. You've just done a killer bars of steel. What's next for Tokyo Vendetta? And I just, I would say I definitely definitely have a lot up my sleeves and mm. I have a new project that's coming out very very soon so definitely keep a look out for that one. All right thank you so much Tokyo Vendetta for coming through for Bars of Steel. Thank you for having me.